This is CNN Breaking News. Let's get to the breaking news. Once again, our top story uh, right now, uh, we've learned that President Obama set on Monday to end the ban on federal funding of embryonic stem cell research. Let's talk about this and more with Democratic strategist and CNN political contributor Donna Brazil and Republican strategist, the former senior advisor to Vice President Cheney, Mary Madeline. Uh, what do you think, uh, Mary? He's, he's going to be reversing a decision that uh, President Bush made early on in his administration eight years ago that would impose these kinds of restrictions. And now he's saying, you know what, uh, the research is vital. Well, it's sad, and it's really sad that this whole issue has been so politicized because it masks the fact that there are 72 known current working adult stem cell therapies and treatments, and there are zero stem cell, embryonic stem cell treatments or therapies. And the tests that they have had, the research that they have done, shows that they're unstable. So this has become a, the 21st century abortion issue, if you will, and it's not true that Bush banned uh, all the funding or the, any of the federal research on it and I hope we can get out of the politics of this and pursue uh, continue to pursue some of the advances that have been made with adult stem cells. But a lot of scientists uh, say as you know uh, Donna that embryonic stem cell research holds a great potential out there. And Wolf uh, I agree with Mary that it's time for us to put science over politics and if this uh, can provide scientists and others with uh, the needed research so that we can have the appropriate cures for diabetes and Parkinson and other diseases. This is, this is a great decision and I applaud the president for opening up these new lines of research to, for scientists to see if they can discover some cures. Listen to this exchange that our own John King had with the president not that long ago. Uh, the president uh, making it clear he wanted to end this ban on embryonic stem cell research, but he wanted to do it with new legislation. Listen to this. You will have the power at the end of that parade to, at the stroke of a pen, lift the federal ban on embryonic stem cell research. There may be the votes to do it in Congress now, but you don't have to wait. You could do it in your first few minutes in office, will you? Well, you know, if we can do something legislative, then I usually prefer a legislative process because those are the people's representatives. And I think that uh, on embryonic stem cell research, the fact that you have a bipartisan support around that issue the fact that you have uh, Republicans like Orrin Hatch who are uh, fierce opponents of abortion and yet recognize that there is a moral and ethical mechanism to ensure that people with Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's can actually uh, you know, find potentially some hope out there. Uh, you know, I, I think that sends a powerful message. So we're still examining what things will do through executive order, uh, but I, I like the idea of the American people's representatives expressing uh, their views on an issue like this. Adana, he's clearly had a change of heart since then because he's going to go forward with an executive order. Uh, how do you explain that? Well, I, I'm sure the president decided that this is the most effective way to get this done immediately because, look, every day that we lose, every year that we lose, we're getting further and further behind and finding cures for these, in, these incredible diseases. And so I, I applaud him for uh, taking a step. Yes, it will be controversial, but as the president said, that there's a lot of bipartisan support out there, including former First Lady Nancy Reagan. So I look forward to those who are supportive of this president to speak out on Monday and to say that this was a great Is move. this going to be a big issue uh, when it's done on Monday, uh, Mary, or, or is it going to just move on? People are going to move on. Well, well, if one were a uh, cynic, one would say the reason that the president's reversing course and doing this via executive fiat as opposed to legislatively is because the country is deeply divided on this and he knows that and if he left it up to the people's will it would be a big there would be a big political fight over it it's not a passing thing and it's not as the democrats has de have described it as a, a lack of, of of confidence in science it's quite the contrary it's a very tough ethical issue there are cures there are research there are current adult stem cell treatments as i i keep saying and if we put it to the legislative body and the people had a say in this i'm not sure it would pass well right now he's going to move forward with the executive order mary listen